All right. <clears throat> We're not done. <laughs> if this was a symphony, it'd be missing one instrument. That's what will be happening. And I read your tweets, and I saw the leaks, and I read the websites. I got that. Good job. You guys did your job. Everyone in here did their job. You got it all right except for one thing. Take a look. I am pretty excited to show this to you. Um, yeah, this is me excited. There, <clears throat> this is Surface Duo. <clears throat> I'm super clear. I'm super clear. You're going to talk about this. You're going to talk about it as a phone. And, and I get that. And you're going to talk about it as a communication device. And it does both those things incredibly well, for sure. For sure, you can text, you can write, you can do what you want. But make no mistake, this product is a surface. <clears throat> and how beautiful, how beautiful is this product? Not just because of the hardware, not just because of the hardware. Nope, no, no, no but because how productive you can be on it. The premium fit finish, the thinness, pretty incredible. All the adaptable postures you saw on Surface Neo enabled right here by that same 360 to 5, 365 degree hinge. The two side-by-side 5.6-inch -side displays come together in an incredibly powerful way, enabling every single one of the postures you see there. And this product brings together the absolute best of Microsoft. And we're partnering with Google to bring together the absolute best of Android into one product. That unique design ethos and innovation that Surface brings with every single app in the Android ecosystem. This, this is industry pushing technology. And it's technology pushing possibilities. People need to use their phones to be more productive. 
but phones have their limits. Think about starting a mail, an important mail, and then finishing it on your PC. Ever done that? What about when you're on a video call and you're asked to question, maybe what time's the game? What time are you gonna be home for dinner? What does your schedule say? When's the next meeting? What's the score in your fantasy matchup? What do you do? You get out of the video call. You lose the thing we talked about that might be the most powerful thing on the planet, which is human connection. You blur your screen and you go get the information. You're also context switching. Your working memory is flushing. You're right out of your flow. Or sometimes you pull data from one app and you have to put it in another. And you have to switch between those apps. Maybe a freaking flyer number or an address. Or maybe just trying to get an address into your maps. But what if you could just push a button and two screens would light up with the two apps you wanted? We absolutely know scientifically that you will be more productive on two screens. Much more than one screen ever could do. But it has to be elegant. It has to fit in your pocket. It has to be robust. It has to fit in your bag. And it's not just more real estate you need. It's not. It's defined real estate. It's structure and the way the mind takes it. That seam down the middle lights the product up in ways that are almost impossible to explain because you have to feel it. And that space drives you into flow. <coughs> and the opportunity that I'm most excited about announcing this product early is fundamentally bringing developers along with us creating APIs that create magical experiences across dual screens. The idea that you can do two tasks and context switch with ease without losing focus. This, this is a powerful product. This will come holiday 2020.